Greetings, discreet defenders. I do want to do a brief examination of the Honey Badger wound track. Um, as noted in the field, we had ideal 15 inch penetration in the gel column. Now, I also did a test off camera of a unrelated 125 grain 38 special bullet that failed expansion and passed directly through because of the, presumably because of the denim barrier. But I shot it from this direction. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice out that wound track from the 125 grain bullet that failed expansion and compare it to the, man, that honey badger, that's a, that is a pretty interesting round. Stops at 15 inches. I want to compare the unexpanded bullet track coming from left to right with the honey badger bullet tracks coming from left to right. I'm going to I'm going to cut this in the same way to isolate those wound tracks for sake of comparison. Because the thing everybody automatically wants to know, well, should want to know automatically, is whether or not the honey badger actually does more damage than, say, a clogged hollow point bullet or an FMJ. And I think that from these tracks, you can definitively say that the Honey Badger does a lot more damage. These are the two Honey Badger tracks in the um, first eight inches or eight and a half inches of penetration. And there is the clogged hollow point bullet in its first eight and a half inches of penetration. There is no comparison. The two honey badger tracks, the two honey badger tracks are dramatically bigger. There is way more damage done to the gel by the honey badgers than by the clogged FMJ. I don't know how well that shows up, but there is the clogged wound channel, again, from the, uh, from the entry, and there are the honey badger channels from the entries through the first eight and a half inches. That difference is dramatic. The honey badger is doing far more damage as near as I can see. That is just plain impressive. There's the one we captured. Again, I do believe it tumbled. There does not appear to be any evidence of, um, of rebound. I think the maximum penetration depth is exactly where the bullet came to rest. Base forward. I think these extended wound channels in the first eight and a half inches of penetration may be the result of that tumbling. But at any rate, we're absorbing 200 foot-pounds of energy, 210 foot-pounds of energy, 100 grain bullet going between a thousand, uh, between 950 and 1,000 feet per second. That's, um, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty impressive, pretty good performance by the, uh, the little 
screwdriver load Lehigh component loaded by Black Hills Ammunition. You can still see a little bit of denim caught on that uh, on that blade. Really good. And like I said, the, these have almost zero felt recoil. So, good work, Black Hills. Thanks, folks. This has been Dave with DDR.